So the first thing we'd like you to do is, in order to determine how many routers you have, go and press your Windows Start key and type in CMD. This opens up the command prompt. Then type in T-R-A-C-E-R-T -E Google.com. Give it a few minutes. Uh, it will print out some information here. And the first four lines or so is all we need. The first line here tells us what is the router IP address locally and what is your IP address scheme on that network. Um, we also need the second line and third line to make sure that you don't have a second or third router in the mix. You can press Control C to break the output uh, on the DOS window. The other thing we need you to do is tell us what your computer's IP address is locally on the network. In order to find out your computer's IP address, uh, what you can do is type in IPCONFIG. And there will be, uh, depending on how complicated of a setup you have, we're just looking for information about uh, your local uh, connection to your, your uh, local network. So after I typed IP config, the first line I printed out says Windows IP configuration. And then it tells me uh, information about my Ethernet adapter, which is my network interface on the back um, on my computer. It could be also for your Wi-Fi card. In my case, I have my Wi-Fi card turned off. So I'm looking for information regarding your computer's IPv4 address here. And in my case, mine is 192.168.1.46. We need you to provide the IPv4 address that you see on your line, the subnet mask, and then the default gateway. Now, once we've um, gotten all this information, we're going to ask you to run a command called ping. And after that, a certain IP address. So what you do is you come back to this DOS window. Again, you press the Windows key, type in CMD, and the DOS window will pull up. Type in ping, P-I-N-G, and then the IP address we give you. In this case, 192.168.1. Um, let's say 35. So when you type that in and you don't see a reply, uh, or it doesn't say successful reply, it just says destination host unreachable. Uh, that means that uh, there is no other computer with this IP address on your network. So um, the next thing is to demonstrate to you if there was another computer on the network with the same IP address. You would do ping and then 192.168.1. Let's say in my case I know I have a IP, uh, device with an IP of 101. See it says reply from that IP address that I typed in and it says bytes equal 32, time equal 5 milliseconds and something else. If it says time and, and there's a value after that, that means it's a successful reply. There is a device with this IP address that I typed in. So the top shows you an unsuccessful reply, meaning there's no device on the network with that IP address, so it's safe to use this IP address on a new device. And the second shows you that this IP address already exists on the network and don't use it on another device, otherwise you're going to have a conflict. So these are some uh, three basic commands to use uh, running the DOS window.